So guys, today I bring you details on the new Borderlands 3 event coming very soon indeed. The items available and how you get them and a few other specs of information. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the Broken Hearts Day Valentine's event arrives soon and it brings a whole host of new features and loot for us to chase. Today I will quickly brief you on what this event will consist of and also the challenges behind getting the new legendaries this event will offer. So this event will use the same NPC in Morris who was our guide to the Bloody Harvest. And this event, as far as we know so far, consists of hearts which you will see hovering above the head of the enemy. These hearts when shoot trigger different things. There are 6 hearts in total all ranging from buffing your team's damage output upon shooting them to converting enemies into allies for a short time. We have ones that fall on the ground creating a fiery explosion and also exploding into loot. Kind of like what we got with the loot ghosts and how they worked within the bloody harvest. But with these hearts come rewards. After shooting and destroying a certain set number, most will mail you rewards. After you shoot 10, you'll get this echocardiogram, echo skin. Looking pretty cool. After 25, you'll get this cosmic romance, a weapon trinket. After 50, you will get this terminal, Polyamorous Legendary Maliwan SMG. This SMG shoots an energy beam and chains to nearby enemies. Sounds pretty cool. After 75, you'll get the Heartbreaker Vault Hunter skins. After 100, you'll get this Wedding Invitation Legendary Jacob's Sniper Rifle. This sniper being super unique in the fact that it's an incendiary weapon but its bullets ricochet trial shots upon hitting a crit spot. It also turns ammo back into the magazine after you hit that crit spot, which is amazing people. Now the skins I think will unlock when each Void Hunter has destroyed 75 hearts and not unlock for all upon one set of 75 hearts being destroyed. That makes more sense in my opinion. I mean 75 hearts or 100 hearts in total doesn't seem like much or doing it across four Void Hunters isn't too much to expect from us. Now this event it seems will only be lasting a single week and will arrive with the February patch which comes this Thursday, February 13th. Now this information I'm going to discuss is pure speculation on my behalf. But do you think there may be something they ain't telling us? Do you think there might be a boss at the end of this grind, much like Captain Haunt after he kills said amount of schools with the Bloody Harvest event? I say this because the Broken Heart Day's logo, it has an octopus breaking out of the heart or tentacles breaking out of the heart. Which puzzles me as what has an octopus or tentacles got to do with Valentine's. And it doesn't end there, look at this weapon trinket. Now I know we had Terramorphus from Borderlands 2 who was kind of more like a worm but did have tentacles so to speak. And we had the Destroyer from Borderlands 1 who also seemingly had tentacles. But they indeed look nothing like this. So yes, complete speculation on my behalf, but will there be guys, a boss behind this event? We will see. Now like I said, this event arrives Thursday, February 13th, a day before Valentine's Day, and they state it lasts a week. With five unique rewards to unlock, the Echo skin, the weapon trinket, the Maliwan SMG, the Vault Hunter skins, and the Jacob Sniper. Will it offer more? Well that's something we'll have to wait and see guys. But on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.